Residents in Etobicoke say it's been two months since railway workers dropped creosote soaked ties next to their backyards. Because of the smell and concerns for their health, they are now seeking help from government officials. That far and this far, and I can smell it here on like most days when the heat peaks on my upper deck. Kathleen Burroughs has been living in her same residence for 15 years. She says she's never had an issue with chemical smells in her backyard until this summer. It's a smell like a, a tar. It's definitely chemical. Um, often over some time, your throat bothers you, your eyes water, and it's a daily occurrence. Burrow says railway workers were doing maintenance work on the track behind her home in June when piles of ties were dropped. As the humidity got stronger, so did the smell. And even after reaching out to the railway company, no one has come to collect them. So I don't know if they're treating it with additional chemicals. I have no idea, but this year is the year of concern. Uh, normally it doesn't interfere with my enjoyment of my backyard, but this year, um, multiple days of the week, I can't sit outside. The smell is so pungent that we can't even open our back windows. A block away, resident Marianne Galberg has been dealing with the same issue. She says she's tried to contact local government officials several times to get the issue resolved. So I've reached out to both um, city, provincial, as, ve as well as federal, and I've also reached out to CPKC. I've opened a ticket um, through their consumer safety line. I've also emailed them, and I've received absolutely nothing other than acknowledgement, auto reply. Galberg says her main concerns are the health and safety for her family and the harmful effects from the toxins on the environment. She says she's frustrated that she has not received any kind of update. They should not be allowed to just dump these creosote ties in residential areas and just leave them there. We know that they're toxic, we know that they're health, they're not healthy, um, and it's really irresponsible and it feels kind of like we have no power. And next, residents say they are working to put a petition together to bring to their local government. In Etobicoke, Catalina Gillies, City News.